And in terms of the patients that, that come through the, the program, um, is, is there any patient that it, it doesn't work for? Or is there anything that marks a patient out as being sort of, yes, we'll know that we're going to have more success with this patient over a, a, another type of patient? Definitely. Uh, we'd like to think that we can make some improvement to, every, to all our patients that come through the clinic. Our, a good um, analogy, which is reflective of the literature as well, um, and it's in line with our recent audits, it tends to fall into thirds. So there are third, there's probably about a third of our patients who we make real life changing, like positive changes for, and they go on from not being very mobile to going out and engaging in the community again, returning to work. So those high-end outcomes. There's another third that we do make some positive impact to quality of life and we do make some impact to movement as well. Um, and then unfortunately there is also a third where we don't make as good a difference as we have to the other two thirds of the group. And looking at our audit findings as well as the literature as well, the common themes is mainly acceptance of diagnoses and understanding of the diagnoses and also um, extensive comorbidities, but primarily with extensive psychiatric illnesses as well. There's a whole stack of other prognostic factors as well, like chronicity, age, particularly chronicity and how complex the presentation is, but definitely that understanding of the diagnosis seems to really, there seems to be a big switch there with how far the patient can come across with their outcomes.